Black Mirror is one of my favorite TV shows of all time and if I had to share my list of the top 5 episodes from this anthology series, Nose Dive would surely be on that list. Without spoiling too much for you, Nose Dive is a sharp critique on how we keep craving social media validation. Everyone along with the protagonist has an image in the society based on how well they are rated by each other. Their rating is the status symbol and if it falls down it becomes a matter of grave concern because a lower rated person is dejected by the society nobody wants to engage with someone who is sad or is having some issues in life everyone depends on their rating so much that they can't even think of having a sad face you have to be happy all the time you have to be jolly all the time your place in society is determined only by how well you are rated Yes this episode is very close to reality and it was rated 8.3 on IMDb by more than 50000 viewers but ultimately this episode is just a work of fiction you might even forget about it and indulge yourselves again by endlessly scrolling your feeds however if you stop scrolling and give it a thought this digital rating might be important enough to make a judgment of someone's life the number of stars that you choose to give away mindlessly might just secure someone's livelihood But you know what we don't care because we always place our own comfort at the top and it is the hard truth but you cannot ignore the fact that ratings have become a significant part of today's digital world the credit for that goes to the era of gig economy now this video is not going to talk about what is the meaning of gig economy but what i am going to do is talk about a film that gives us an exclusive access to the lives of those who despite being the pillars of the gig economy have been granted the lowest level of respect this exclusive access is of a creatively assertive yet benevolent nature that allows us to deeply understand the plight of those hard workers who thrive on our digital validation this exclusive access has been provided by nandita das and her team with the film zwigato which is now in theaters the film opens with a super fast train that refuses to stop we meet the protagonist Uh, who is worried after seeing this and he tries to get down as soon as possible but to his surprise every compartment seems to be empty he meets a seductress who seems to be more than just an acquaintance and as he crosses every compartment the train transforms into a room where everyone is rushing to get a government scheme form This proves to be a dream that continues to haunt our protagonist Manas, a factory worker who lost his job due to the pandemic and is now struggling to acclimate his aspirations, expertise and his life in the world of the gig economy. His wife who is the second protagonist is trying to lend a hand by working odd jobs. His kids are too young to understand their situation and instead focus on creating social media content. His house is desperately seeking a better state of living which was rather unexpected when the family migrated from their birthplace to a new city. The entire film depicts the struggles of our protagonist in this new world where they are compelled to make the most difficult choices to make the ends meet. With the character of Manas we witness the perils of participating in the scheme of the gig economy which promises a life of dignity and self-ownership but ends up causing the opposite. The character of Manas personifies the daily struggles of those who are offering their services to make our lives better. Their daily bread is actually based on how we treat them, which is based on how they treat us. They respect our time and go to great lengths to deliver our desires. And just like how every story should not make you feel sympathetic but empathetic for the characters, Zwigato does the same by showing us how these riders are seeking respect more than money. and with the character of his wife pratima we are reminded about the importance of those who help us with our daily chores they offer their services without any judgment they are always ready to take our burden away from us but sometimes we don't return the favor and treat them mercilessly zwigato also shows us how we have been consumed with the world of internet so much that we have been desensitized completely even to the most concerning scenarios By the end of the film we realize how the super fast train is a metaphor for life itself which stops for nobody. Manas and his wife are the passengers in their own compartmentalized world of obstacles with the ticket of hope. The hope of reaching their destination where everything is going to be fine. Everything will work in their favor. They can't choose to get off the train and even if they do they won't be able to match the speed of life. However, they still continue to move ahead and uh, at their own speed. 
but with the hope of reaching their destination. But in the end, when you have spent your time watching the film, you might have this question that who is the true antagonist of this story? Is it the gig economy itself that keeps pestering sincerity and exploits neediness in the name of growth opportunities? Is it the customers who don't consider the importance of rating the services that make their lives easier? Or is it the government that is not doing enough to ensure that nobody remains unemployed? Well, I believe the true antagonist of Zwigato is the person who thinks that this film is funny.